Wow, thanks for the awesome reaction on my kid video. Please, don't do sad hello. San Hollow, full name Sander van de Jikjik, is a Dutch trap and not future bass artist who broke through in 2014 with his remix of Dr. Dre's The Next Episode that to this day stands at 158 million views on the Trap Nation channel. Through his characteristic sound design and songwriting, San Hollow sets himself apart from your average beat boy on the block. We'll be taking a look at those unique characteristics today, the things that make San Hollow, San Hollow. At this point, I really shouldn't have to explain where Son Hollow gets his name from by now, but if you've been living under a rock, I'll explain it real quick. <sighs> it comes from the 1970 Hunt Bennett jazz album called Solo. Move those letters around and what do you get? That's right, Halo Sun. But you also get Son Hollow. So yeah, yeah that's, that's the joke there. there. See, it even has a burb on the cover, but more on that later. Most Sun Hollow tracks are 150 BPM or in that area. Sometimes 155 or down to 140, you know, typical tempos for genres that are NOT future bass. You'll want a little punchy kick, so nothing too fat and beefy, but a little something like this. For the snares, you'll sometimes have something a little dry and snappy, but then other times you'll get something like really reverby and oh my god, the snare and light and one thing are identical. Very often in between the snares, he'll have like another snare that's like really chopped up and fast and kind of pitched. They're not the main snare, but they add a nice rhythm to the whole beat. He'll often use snaps and occasionally cowbells as well. He uses these weird hi-hats that I've noticed in a lot of his tracks. It's kind of like a bird chirping. Hmm. In the build-up, make sure to clap, 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 cl
still the same progression. However, the chords we've used so far are actually just three notes, but some will often use additional notes, such as a seventh, ninth, or a suspended two or four. I cover this topic in my cute and kawaii video, but where some will differ from the sweet, sugary, cute music bop is by having subtle dissonance. Usually when you have two notes next to each other, it creates this dissonance, and I think most people would agree that it just doesn't sound quite right. But in the context of a larger chord, adding those extra notes just adds a whole lot more emotion and tension to the chord that just gets me right in the feels. Also, the melodies look like they could have been played with just one hand without moving it a lot. Huh, maybe there's a reason for that. So to recap with a meme. Yes. Yes. Yes! Work so hard. bass sound you'll want some 808s but with some tone to them. Occasionally you'll want to use a bass sound that's almost like a sawtooth or square. In the intros and breakdowns we can also have this low pass saw wave that's kind of detuned so it creates this really cool reesey droney bass sound. It's really nice. In the drop he'll sometimes use a sharp metallic -y sounding pluck I can can't forget you or the next episode or hold fast. I actually managed to make a lead sound similar to this after only just three failed attempts but I managed to combine all those failed attempts together to create the ultimate sound so I'm really happy with how that came out. Each part kind of resembles an element of the whole sound. If you were to think of this sound as a an acoustic mallet or a toy box you would have the ringing metallic sound but the clink of it hitting something metal and also the thud of it hitting something not metal, maybe wood. In the second half of the drop, you can add a softer pluck that contrasts from the harder sounding pluck and you make sure like the pitch envelope goes up so it's like whoop, whoop, whoop. Make sure to have this three note lead melody pluck in your breakdown or in the intro or just, you know, throughout the whole entire song because you'll find this in quite a few of his tracks. It's like a producer tag almost, but then with melody instead of, you know, recording your own voice and stretching it out. Lil Dill Pickle. Bite them all, yeah. In the second half of the song, have a drop with the Mario Firepower sound. You know that. Fun fact: Sun's track "All Right" with Yellow Claw was made entirely with Massive, including all the drum samples. I mean, not the vocals, of course. But we'll get to that soon. Make sure to use this vocal sample that San uses in all his songs, like the swirl. and the oh. And on rare special occasions, the whap. Sun Holo likes to dabble in pop. I also really love pop music. And has lyrics in a lot of his songs, but usually they're like maximum two sentences, like all these songs. I'd play all these examples, but that would take too long. So I guess I'll just have to play them all at once. I rest my case. So yeah, pretty much all these songs just have two lines of lyrics. They'll do stuff like repeating certain phrases from the lyrics in different sections of the song, especially for a build-up or an intro. One thing takes this concept even further and has variations on the two lines in the build-up, but it's still essentially the same. Even so, the two lines of lyrics will often have a repeating phrase within themselves. Wanna see the light? Wanna see the light? You'll be strong in this life. You'll be strong in this life. The old, the old. When I close your eye, yeah, well, all of this. I guess the lesson here is to make your lyrics simple but effective. Just whatever you do, make sure you say the title of the track a lot of times. That way, people will know what song they're listening to. If they forget, they can just listen and be like, oh yeah, I'm listening to the song by Son Holo called I Still See Your Face. I forgot what I was listening to, but now that they've said it 48 times, I remember. I remember everything. Auto-tuning her voice and then pitching the formants up high. That's a nice trick and some Holo will use that even on his own voice. I'm pretty sure that's his voice and not someone else's on I Still See Your Face because in the artwork and the music videos, he's the one holding up the microphone and singing. So, you know, I didn't go to college for nothing. And if that sounds too much like work, just get the necklace to sing your track and call it a day. From time to time, Sun will incorporate guitar into his music. This is a trend seen more recently in his newer material and also now his live shows, and I think it pays off pretty well. So we're gonna add guitar in our track too. Yeah. 
drop. On the second round, you'll want to add even more notes onto the chord progression just to make it even more emotional. You know, you're just building up that emotion. And then you can switch to the more synthier type of bass sound for the B drop, like the square type of bass, and then add the soft, nice arpeggio plucks that we made earlier into this part. I've said in previous Project File live streams that it's weird when I hear your chords being sidechained in a pumping house manner, such as with LFO Tool or Kickstarter, yet you have a trap or future bass type beat underneath. Those things don't seem to add up, yet I'll hear this being done a lot on Son's music and it works. Except in this case, I assume it's not being done as much as a way to sidechain the chords or sounds, but more for rhythmic purposes and most likely still has traditional sidechaining being applied from the kick and snare. Well done. Now you've made a Sun Holo track. Now you're ready to buy some Gucci and get released on Bitbird because the songs on there also kind of sound like Sun Holo songs. But it's okay. I still love you, Julu. Wait, wait a second. Bit Bitbird. Bitbird. No. Wait. No. It can't, it can't a be. bird chirping. Bitbird. What if Sun Holo was actually a bird this whole time? It sounds crazy, right? But wait till you see the evidence. They both have two eyes. And they both whistle a lot. You know, that's something birds do. And they both eat mainly seeds and water. And they both have a beaky nose. <laughs> no, San, I'm sorry. Please don't go. I really mean it. I'll make it up to you, okay? Look, here here are some pictures. Some really cute birds. I, I know you like. Look, here's another. And here's another one. And and look look at this guy. He's he's coming up to say hi. He's, oh, oh my god. Is is he gonna be okay? Oh yeah, he's back. No, he's fine. He's good. So he just flew back because he's a birdie and can fly. So it's cool. Everything, everything's fine. A long time ago in the galaxy, far, far away, a young gentleman by the name of Son Holo. No, no, my name is Son Holo. Yeah. yeah. guitar with me. Okay. I'm gonna play some guitar as well. Ooh. Electronic vibes, trap music, with guitar playing, guitar solos, why not, you know, just mixing it all up.
Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something too. I'd like to thank Jaden Lewis, who I worked with on this track. He's really good. And you can find more of his stuff on SoundCloud or Trap City. It's great to have the extra help because this video took over a month to make. If you'd also like to support me in making more videos more often, I just started a Patreon page. Shout out to Mario! Any help is really appreciated. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>